There's an amazing story in the Czech Republic of this lady named Milada Horakova. Um, her name actually is the name of the street where the church building is in Prague. Um, and so I'd heard her name hundreds of times and used her name hundreds of times to describe where the church building is, but I never knew her story um, for a long time. She was a philosopher and she was involved in politics and she was in the underground movement um, during uh, the Nazi regime. She was discovered um, by the Nazi police and she was initially sentenced to death um, but they changed her sentence to lifetime in prison so they sent her to a concentration camp called Terezin and so she was tortured for information she went through just indescribable things at this concentration camp um, which was very difficult for her but as soon as the regime fell, she was back on the scene with politics trying to help the country become a more solid, a, a better place. Um, but then around 1948, when the Communist Party uh, really took a, a hold over the Czech Republic, um, pretty oppressive hold, she was again arrested for speaking up for human rights, for speaking up for, um, or speaking against the things that the party was doing at this time. And you think of this, this lady who's had, who's been abused and tortured by um, foreigners during World War II, and now she's being abused and tortured by her own people during communism. And she never spoke out um, or, or resigned her beliefs. Uh, she always stuck to what she believed and what she believed was best for the Czech Republic. And eventually she was sentenced to a trial that was scripted. And it was televised to the whole country, but the entire trial was a script of what she was supposed to say, what the defendant was supposed to say, what the prosecuting uh, attorney was supposed to say, and she didn't follow the script. And because of that, she was sentenced to death within two weeks, and she was uh, she was uh, sentenced to death by hanging. And I think it's a an amazing example of what a good Czech person is. They will stick to what they believe and what they know is right all the way through. Um, she was an amazing woman.